I'm sorry, y'all. I said I was gonna record me doing my wig in a video. Um, and yeah, so I don't know. I don't remember if I told y'all in the vlog already, but basically I took my wig off yesterday. I did not install it with actual glue. I just used um, Got To Be, and then I just took it off last night. But because I actually do want it to be on for a few days, like I want it to be on um, over the weekend because today is only Thursday, I am actually using Gots um, I am actually using Ghost Bond to install it right now, which I'm doing a pretty good job with the lace that this wig has. This wig is really old. I have not bought a wig in a long time. I'm just trying to melt it as best as I can. So I'm just trying to melt it as best as I can. Um, which it doesn't, this side doesn't really matter too much because my hair is going to be down covering this side anyway. So, yeah. And then I still have to lay my um, edges and stuff. trying to hurry up because y'all have so much to do i'm washing clothes if y'all can hear the washer and dryer behind me i still have to clean the bathrooms mop which i'm gonna wait to mop until um i'm gonna wait to mop until the girls go to bed actually um but yeah i'm almost done fred's probably losing his mind he's upstairs <laughs> with the kids So the wig is on. I'm going to push it out real quick. So we're still gonna clip it on both sides like so. And then I'm going to Take some alcohol and just clean up the um they clean up the access glue a little bit so it's not so um so shiny and then I'm going to lay my scarf. So I'm gonna take some of this and like that much. I like to just go ahead and just put it on the back of my hand. That way I can just dip my brush and go about my business. I don't know if I'm like kind of see, I can see. bad already y'all yeah these shits are trash already trash so it is the next day y'all and it's early it's like eight o'clock right now Bitch, look at my wig though. So, I need to fix this side and lay some baby hairs down off of that lace. But other than that, it looks so good. 
No, bitch, it looks so good. Um, very bad about myself. Let me step back so I can get a full picture. Y'all, I have a huge hole in my shirt, please. So, yeah, y'all about to see me clean up my room. It looks crazy. Don't judge me. this morning um and we were just kind of and we were just kind of hanging out spending time together um you know i know i just saw her like five weeks ago but it's my mama i got some candles today i'm actually gonna show y'all let's let's do a little candle haul real quick my, my candle cabinet bitch these last few weeks have been looking real real sparse um because everything going on like bath and body works well honestly everywhere their candles were like not really going on sale like that but finally they had these semi angle sale um and then they had another sale today where they put like all the other candles um that i kind of been wanting they made those 50 percent off too so bitch i racked up okay let me show y'all so this is my candle cabinet and I'm going to show y'all the new additions. So I got vanilla cola candy. And then I got white caramel cold brew. This literally smells like a Starbucks. Like it literally smells like when you walk into your home, you're entering a coffee shop. And then this is a candle that I've been wanting really bad. The berry waffle cone. I actually got two of them. I guess I should put them by each other. I try to like categorize them by scent or packaging, um, but yeah, that's going on here. And then these in the back, um, like I've had these candles since fall. Like, see, I've had these candles, the vanilla birds, mahogany, teakwood, um, flannel, fall farmhouse. I've had those candles since fall. And then up here, this candle is from TJ Maxx. And then this candle is from TJ Maxx too. Y'all, this candle smells so good. I have another candle from TJ Maxx that I'm actually burning in my hallway upstairs. Once that candle is done burning, I'm gonna burn this one in my hallway upstairs because it smells so good, y'all. The packaging is so pretty. It was only $7.99. And it's a decent sized candle. Like it's a two week and Bitch, anything lemon, anything lemon, I'm there. Anything, anything. Um, and then I have this one as well. This one is white honey and bergamot. Um, with this one, I love the packaging and I love that it's so big. But I'm not crazy about the smell. I mean, it smells, it smells good. I'm gonna get the job done, but I'm not like obsessed. But it's huge. So this is probably a candle that I would put in. Hmm. I don't know. This is probably a candle. 
I don't know where I don't know where I would put this at. Then which other ones are new? Oh yeah, so then I also got um turquoise waters, which smells amazing. Um it just smells clean, like fresh, clean, something I would definitely burn in like a bathroom or even in my living room, like these clean scents are something I would um, light in my living room or downstairs when like you first enter my house. Can I actually see a new one, banana, walnut muffin? I got linen and lavender. Back, I have raspberry tangerine, I have strawberry pound cake, and then I have peach sweet cone. So those are the candles that I purchased. Um, then, so. But I actually have another order coming from Bath and Body Works. It should be here Monday, I think. Um, but I purchased like four or five more candles. Um, because bitch, I just wanted them all. I just feel like I haven't bought candles in so long. I just wanted to completely refill my cabinet. My cabinet was getting so empty. It was low key like giving me anxiety. It was, but now it's it's back like it's back fully stopped so i'm happy but yeah i'm not sure which ones i got which four or five candles that i did get um but i'll let y'all know i'll let y'all know so yeah Okay, so right now I'm in the twins nursery. I'm sorry if this angle is weird and if the lighting is weird. Excuse all of that. Stop. But I wanted to come on here and show you guys some of the items that I purchased um, from this store through Instagram. It's called Little Apparel. The name is literally leaving my mind as I'm trying to say it, but it's Little Apparel something. I'll try to screenshot um, the name and like the Instagram account and include it um, and put it on the screen for y'all. I purchased from them like a month ago. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and it took them a while to process my order. I'm not sure if their processing time is just that slow in general or if it's just because of all of the... Um, COVID-19 stuff going around but I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and just say it's because of the virus and everything that's going on um but yeah I ordered clothes for Phoenix and Fox on there just because I've been looking for like different things um as y'all know as I've talked about I don't like this lighting okay the lighting is much better but as y'all know as I've expressed plenty of times in this vlog I've kind of had a difficult time finding Fox clothes that like I'm absolutely in love with. Like I just kind of wanted to do more neutrals, more neutral clothes, neutral tones. Um, not a lot of outfits with like characters and animals and stuff like that on them. Um, that's kind of the vibe I'm going for with him. So I saw, um, so I saw their page on Instagram and I decided to buy. A few things with them i spent like 185 dollars with them y'all um i got 10 items a couple like little two-piece sets and then a lot of little rumpers so i have seven items i'm still waiting on three of them i just wanted to come on here and show them to you guys because they are so so adorable this is the first piece it's like this little rumper and it has these little animals on it, y'all. It's so adorable. So this is the back. And this is the front. And with the front, I don't know if y'all can tell, but basically you just put the you put the strap through the rumper and you kind of just knot it. I think that is just so freaking cute. I believe this is in the size four to six now. I'm sorry if the kids are being loud, y'all. Um, that's mom life, okay? Hashtag mom life. So, um, I know it has, like, the foxes on it and stuff, but I got this for Phoenix to actually wear, but that's just how it is. It's super cute. They had some really cute stuff on there, y'all. Like, I would have placed a bigger order, but I was just a little skeptical because through Instagram, I've never...
purchased anything from them before. So, I mean, one hundred eighty-five dollars. Girl, that's a, that's a cute little, you know. So this next outfit is like a two-piece set. So it's like this little shirt, and it's good quality, y'all. Like it's stretchy. It seems really comfortable. It has these little slits on each side. And I love this color, like this burnt orange color. This is in the size six months. Um, and then it comes with the little pants as well. Oh my God. It is so adorable. It's so adorable. I'm in love. And this outfit is for a box. Okay, this next outfit is for Fox as well. I'm not, um, but yeah. I'm showing these little outfits. What's up? Yeah. Oh, they ready to they done? All right, I'm about to come down. Sports. I'm so done. I'll be quick. Okay, so the next set that I got is for Fox as well, and it's six months. And it's basically, so it's this little shirt right here, and it has this little pocket on the front, and it has the Fox, and then the little um, pockets and stuff. It's like a little, some little threads and stuff, but girl, we're not worried about that. This is really, really cute. And then these are the bottoms. Once again, with like the teepees and the fox and the raccoons and stuff on there. But this is a little romper that I got for Phoenix. It, it just has the snaps right there on the shoulders. And it's this. I think this is supposed to be like little cactus leaves or something like that. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. I just thought it was cute. It's super neutral. And it just has like the little print on it. And then this is the other. Wait, is this for him? But still, uh, same thing. It has this little pocket in the front. Uh, Cute. Uh, this is another little jumpsuit that I got, Phoenix. It's like that silky satin material with little flowers on it. It buttons in the back. I love this color. Like, I love the mustard color. And then I like how at the knee, how it scrunches down here at the knee It's really, really, really cute. And then y'all, this is so cute. So, and then this is another little romper that I got here, y'all. This is so cute. So it ties around the neck. It has these little um, sailor anchors on it. And then like her back is out. This is so cute i love this the only thing about this one is it doesn't have a snap on it so when i have to change your pamper i'm literally gonna have to take this whole thing off it's it's still really really cute so yeah so i just wanted to show you guys that do a little haul for y'all um so y'all can see that so if y'all want to shot with them like i said i will um screenshot and have their information on the screen if i get some tea i'm gonna share it with y'all and i got tea on them y'all please excuse my shirt this is the shirt that i wear when i dye my hair so it's supposed to be stained and stuff like that like when i'm about to dye my hair i specifically put on this shirt because it's already ruined um so i just wear it when i'm doing my hair but but yeah say hi say hi get down hi say hi come right here melanie come here My girls, my girls, girls, I love Milani, and I say love Nyla. Say cheese, cheese. 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 All right, y'all, but let me go take care of the babies. I'll be back. All right, y'all. So I don't even remember the last time I've 
was vlogging, but nonetheless, today is Saturday and I am out and about. I just left Target. I had a few things to pick up and now I'm pulling up at Sally's because I have like two more things I want to get. I want to get a dimming brush and I want to get some like Jamaican castor oil and maybe like a satin lined bonnet. Did this little twist out on my hair yesterday and we're gonna see how it turns out. Actually, the twists are like not bad to me. Like I'm actually, as you can see, out and about running errands with these twists in my hair. But let me tell y'all something because I'm, I know that I'm going to have to basically train my curls. Like I do have curls, I do have a curl pattern. But, um, like every person who's natural will tell you, if you never wear your hair curly, like you're going to have to train your hair. I'm going to have to train my hair. I'm going to have to train my curls to get them to like come out and pop and do whatever else I got to do. So I figured I kind of want to like document this little journey because y'all, when I say I never wear my hair, like I never wear my hair in its natural state, like ever. I don't think I have ever in my like 28 years of living attempted to wear my curls. I stopped relaxing my hair probably almost four years ago, three or four years ago. I haven't had a relaxer on my hair since then. I don't know what my curl pattern is. I think I have like 3C4A hair. Um, but then again, I don't know. What was I saying? I lost my train of thought because I got a phone call. Um, what was I saying, y'all? I am gonna attempt to go heatless um, for as long as I can because it's hot now. So it's really humid outside and I don't feel like putting heat on my hair and straightening my hair and then walking out and my hair like poofs up. So that's what we're doing. So I did go on Target and I got a few things and now I'm about to go into Sally Beauty. And then after Sally Beauty, I actually have to go into the grocery store. We need a couple of things so I can make this chicken today. So when I get back home, I am gonna do like a little haul and show you guys what I got from Target what I got from Sally's and I might do and I probably will do like a grocery store um haul as well and show y'all what I got I realized I told y'all I was gonna do a grocery haul and I don't know why I said that because I only had a few things to get from the store like I think I spent like 60 bucks it's nothing to do a haul on really um but I can still show y'all if you want. Um, but I am going to show y'all the stuff I got for my hair. Yeah, because I'm not cooking till a little later. And <clears throat> I want him to have something to eat, obviously. And me, I have leftover ribs and um, barbecue from Chili's. So... I'm not really worried about myself but yeah um yes bitch the y'all the line was out of mcdonald's parking lot was out of mcdonald's parking lot like multiple cars were outside of mcdonald's parking lot at least five like two coming from one side and like three coming from the other end b no ma'am <laughs> not today satan not today so you know what I did, bitch? I zoomed the hell off, got on DoorDash, and ordered the food, and it will be here in 14 minutes. Hello. Y'all, I would still, y'all, if I would have stayed, I would have still been in that line. So I just went to the gas station, got some gas, and now I'm home. All right, so this is the stuff that I got. So, from Target, so let's start with Target. So, from Target, I got this little kit. I got these two deep conditioning hair masks. So, this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil one. Um, this one is better for, nourish, for nourishing and renewing your hair. 
Um, and then this one is better for hydrating and replenishing your hair. So, like I said, I heard um, the Glam Twins, Kelsey and Kendra, talking about these. I just wanted to try it out first before I just committed to the big jar of it. So, I got the two sample sizes of that. I got this um, t-shirt towel, which, as you guys know, drying your hair with a t-shirt or whatever is way better than um, using a towel. I'm excited to try this out. And then I got this um, Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. Kelsey and Kendra were also talking about this. This is a really good leave-in. And then I picked up this cleansing milk. Um, and this is supposed to be really good for defining your curls, which is what I need. So I think basically you use this after you shampoo and condition. Um, you just use this. Uh, excuse Nala and Milani. So I got this journal. Um, I saw that Aaliyah... Um, I love Aaliyah, like, uh, Aaliyah's face on YouTube. I saw that she got a journal, and she had been, like, journaling each morning. Um, and I just figured I would try it, you know? Um, it says, life goals, mindful thinking, self-development, reflection, gratitude. So, <clears throat> I wanted to get this journal. And then I also got these pens that I love. I bought these pens before. I actually have the, the gold one, the black and gold, and the white and gold one. Um, but I wanted to pick up some more. I like how they're like that matte black. And then from Sally's, I got this Texture ID Dry Hair and Scalp Relief Deep Conditioner. Um, it's basically a soothing hair mask. It deeply moisturizes, strengthens, and repairs. This has avocado and cocoa butter in it. And it's really good for type 3 hair and type 4 hair. So I got that. And then this is something that I want to use on the girls. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about it on YouTube. So it is the Curl Peace Tenderhead Detangling Treatment. Yeah, so that's all I got from Target. Um, I already put the groceries up, but like I said, it wasn't nothing to do a hard one. So, yeah. All right, I look all right. You look all right? Mm. So you're saying you don't look like a snack? Mm. I wouldn't call it a you snack. do not look like a snack. I wouldn't call it a snack. Would you call it a do you would you say you look like a snack, but you don't look like a snack? I look like, I look like a order. <laughs> An order? Yeah. That's pretty fancy. I hmm. I say you like the app. The appetizer. <laughs> hmm. Got them got them dreads freshly done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at my babies. Hey, Papa. I'll take, take the Nike fit. Oh, he's so cute. Hey, Mommy. Oh, bless you. Bless you, Princess. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, Mommy. I did go ahead and take my... um twist out i guess you can call it out um and it was cute down but i had to cook and stuff and i just kind of wanted it out of my face so i'm gonna see how it looks in the morning when i have to go get my nails done i have a nail appointment i think it's at 9 30 yeah it's at 9 30 um um yeah to get my nails done oh i'm gonna see what it does in the morning but this is my first time ever doing anything like this, honestly, like on my hair. Um, and I did order a couple products on top of the products that I got from Target because obviously I got those after I had already did the twist. Um, but on top of the products that I got from Target, I also ordered a few things from Amazon. I ordered a couple like co-washes. Basically next Saturday or Sunday when I redo my hair, I'm going to use all of the products. I'm going to use the co-wash. I'm going to use the leave-ins, the um, deep conditioning mask. Like, I'm going to use all those products. And then I feel like I would have a more realistic um, picture of what it will really look like. Um, 
with me really using those products and like I said earlier y'all it's gonna take a while for me to like train my hair train my curls and like really really get my curls popping because like I said I never wear my hair in its natural state so I don't know what my curls look like what type of curls I have I don't know what my curls look like 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 for real for real like defined with the definition and with product and like i don't know what they look like so you guys are going to be coming along on this natural hair journey with me and we're going to figure it out together okay uh oh baby crying i will see y'all in the next video i have a twin crying so yeah <laughs> bye guys